Epstein texted him, well done, after the emails posted. So the question is, did Stone make that happen? Joining me now is Congressman Ted Lieu of California. He's a member of the House Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committee. I think I know the answer, but I would ask it anyway, Congressman. Do you believe the president yeah. when he denies that he ever instructed Roger Stone to get involved with WikiLeaks? Uh, thank you, Chris, for that question. Donald Trump has lied thousands of times on matters both great and small, so I don't think we can take his denial to mean very much. I'm a former prosecutor, and what was interesting to me about the Roger Stone indictment is that Special Counsel Mueller included information in there totally unnecessary to the actual charges. So the sentence that a senior Trump advisor was directed to contact Stone, that was directed phrase was not necessary. And I think it's very interesting that Mueller included it because it sends a signal that there's someone pretty high up that was in on this collusion. I want to play you what the president had to say uh, about both the special counsel investigation and the SDNY investigation into him and get your reaction uh, to both what he's saying and whether you think he's telling the truth and what it would mean if he is. Take a listen. Has Ron Rosenstein given you any sense over the course of the last year about whether you have any exposure either in or there's any concerns or whether you're a target about him? Well, he told, he told uh, the attorney I'm not a subject. I'm not a, uh, a target of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did he say that about the SDNY investigation? About which? The SDNY investigation, because there's two. There's Mueller and there's the Cohen. I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay. I, that I don't know about. Ron has never said anything to you about whether you're, you have any, you're a target at all in terms of what they were looking for on Cohen. Has that ever come up? No, I don't. I, we, we didn't discuss it. What do you make of that? Well, again, Donald Trump lies all the time, so it's unclear how much stock we can put into <laughs> his denials. But there are two... Actually, there are multiple investigations going on, but the one with the Southern District of New York, we had Michael Cohen under oath in a federal court basically say that Donald Trump directed him to make these payments that were felony payments, and Trump right now is an unindicted co-conspirator in that case. So in terms of him being a target, it's pretty clear to me that in at least that case, he would be a target. Um, there's there's a question now about Michael Cohen, uh, whether he's going to testify publicly at all uh, before a House committee. He will be testifying the House Intelligence Committee. There's a question about Roger Stone being called back because he apparently lied uh, uh, to Congress. How important is it to you, and I've been asking everyone this, to have public hearings on these matters? I think public hearings are preferred, and it will be very important. I'm on the House Judiciary Committee, and we're going to start holding hearings on obstruction of justice, abuse of power, as well as witness intimidation. You can't really have those hearings if you don't have key witnesses, that, uh, such as Michael Cohen uh, or Roger Stone. Wait, say that again. Is that, is that have been made public yet? You're going to have hearings on obstruction of justice, witness tampering, and what else? Abuse of power. And let me sort of give the background to this. Before people can even talk about the question of impeachment, you would need to have a record. Donald Trump and his associates are presumed innocent, like anybody else in America. All we have right now really are newspaper articles. We've got uh, some special counsel Mueller indictments. What we need to do in the House is to have people under oath give testimony. We need to subpoena documents. We create this record with these hearings, and then the American people can decide late, later this year what do they want to do. So has that been made? I mean, those 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 hearings that have those have not been noticed yet, right? Uh, in terms, uh, yes, yeah, that is correct. Those hearings have not been noticed. Uh, the only hearings that have been noticed are next week. We're going to have uh, Matt Whitaker, acting attorney general, come in on Friday, and we will question him. We're also going to have hearings on HR eight, their uh, background checks bill for guns. Let me ask you this about Whitaker. He said just a few days ago that it's wrapping up. There's this sort of consensus. There's been reporting from my own news organization and others that it is wrapping up. And yet here you see the right. special counsel filing today, saying we need till October. We need a lot of time right. to go through uh, right. Roger Stone. What do you? What do you make of that? Uh, it was completely inappropriate for the acting attorney general to say anything about an ongoing criminal investigation. And there are reasons why you don't want to put a timeline on it, because it sends all sorts of signals to potential targets or witnesses. And as a foreign prosecutor, I know that when you get new evidence, you might have to look at new leads and it extends uh, whatever your timeline is. So they had have now years of evidence from Roger Stone that they have to go through in terms of his communications. That's just going to take some time and that could lead to additional witnesses, additional leads. So I don't think this investigation is going to end anytime really soon. Congressman Ted Lieu, thank you very much.
Thank you, Chris. Joining me now is Ian Basson, former Associate White House Counsel.